In the early 70s, Northern Ireland in the United Kingdom was in the grip of unprecedented terrorist strikes. By 1980, this sectarian violence had reduced the city of Belfast to a dreary ghost town. But today, Belfast is a vibrant new town, and much of the credit for its rejuvenation goes to the courage of one man. Strangely, this man who put Belfast back onto the map is not an Irishman, nor even an Englishman, but a former civil servant from Punjab, Daljeet Singh Rana. Daljeet opened the first curry house in Belfast and dared to do what was unheard of at the time, keep his shop open all night. After 10 p.m., you couldn't get a meal anywhere. So this was one place which became very, very popular. So from there, I built on that success. I acquired two other restaurants. On the night of 18th November 1971, Daljeet's quality curry house was bombed by terrorists. Within weeks, his other establishments would also go up in smoke. With only 295 pounds that he received as compensation, Daljeet decided to pick up the pieces and start again. Thanks to the courage that Daljeet had demonstrated in the city, Victoria Street was soon known as the Golden Mile of Belfast. Daljeet's contribution has not gone unnoticed, but the greatest honor came in 1996, when Queen Elizabeth conferred on him the title of Member of the British Empire. She spent a bit more time with me than other recipients asking me what I was doing and how long I've been living here. And to receive a award and to be part of that ceremony was uh, quite overwhelming. And at that time, you think, uh, I wish my parents were there. Daljeet Rana is just one of the many success stories of the one million strong Indian diaspora in the United Kingdom. Natpuri today is one of the most powerful Asian businessmen in Britain and has built up an empire in the manufacturing industry. At the age of 27, Nat Puri headed for Britain to study air conditioning with 375 pounds in his pocket. Today, he owns 30 factories spread across Britain, Germany and America. And he has a personal wealth estimated at anything upwards of 90 million pounds. Very few people of Indian origin participated in the political processes of the country. Gradually, even that is changing. Today, the Liberal Democratic Party has an Indian as its president, Lord Navneet Dholakia. On the 29th of October, 1997, Lord Navneet Dholakia of Waltham Brooks was introduced to the House of Lords. I. Lord Dholakia brought a unique Indian touch to the House of Lords, which was even reflected in his coat of arms. I think the Indian diaspora, especially in England and people that I've seen in, in Canada, is very strong. I think it's a very powerful movement. Tejinder Singh had his first lessons in music at a Gurdwara, but very soon learnt how to mix the electric guitar with a sitar. In February 1998, a band named Corner Shop released a song called Brimful of Asha. It went straight to the top of the charts in the UK and sold nearly a million copies. The band's name comes from the derogatory stereotype that all Indians in England have a corner shop.